welcome to the second special email show for the gamers table. Because you, wow. You know last time we said you guys sent us a lot of email? This time you really have a lot of emails. So we're going to try and get on top of this and not be reading emails three months after the fact. Well, don't go sitting on the laptop. Hi guys, found your show a little bit ago and have watched a few. Very interesting stuff. Helpful to get other people's opinions before going out and buying a game. I'm thinking about buying Mission Red Plant after watching the review. A game that I think would be interesting for you guys to review is Agricola. It's a Z-Man game. Yes, I know it's not pronounced Agricola. That's what I call it. Agricola? Agricola! <laughs> it's a Z-Man game <laughs> in which my experience is a good thing. Yeah, some Z-Man games are good, some are not so much. I have noticed in my group that it's played that uh, played bested, played bested, you speak very goodly, um, with four people. Not sure how large your gaming group is, but I would suggest trying it with four people. Oh, another game is Power Grid, another very fun game. I, I enjoy Power Grid, it is very heavy, very mathy, but... Mathy, these words you it, make it, it is mathy. Well, you need to run your Power Grid and your Power Plants the most efficiently to win. And sometimes when you mess up with other players, you mess up yourself. Anyways, that's Power Grid. You and some, someday we'll review that. I'll have to borrow from my brother. Uh, and well, so one of these days we got to play Agricola. Guys, great review. I just got Red Planet and love it. I have a question though. What song do you play for your intro? And I'm going to read both these at once. Hey, first off, I'd like to say I love your show. Found it earlier tonight while at work and promptly watched all 13 episodes. This is from Ian Flames. Very entertaining and mostly informative reviews. You guys seem like you'd be great to game with. <laughs> I don't understand. Formative. I'm definitely going to pick up Cave Troll and Arkham Horror now because of your reviews. I also got a couple of questions for you. As a kid, I loved the old 80s, 90s style pseudo RPG dungeon crawler board games like Hero Quest, Dragon Strike, Dungeon, etc. Do you guys have any recommendations for modern new games in that style? I've heard people mention Descent, as well as in Dungeons & Dragons, the fantasy board game, which apparently isn't sold outside of Europe, which it isn't. It's only available there. Really? Yeah. We Have you guys played some. either of those, or is there something else you'd recommend more? If so, will you do a review of it? Ah, hmm. uh, Castle Ravenloft? Descent, we could is, do a review. We could do a review on Descent, yeah, we could get that from our friend. Also, who wrote your little theme song? It's weird, but awesome, and now it's stuck in my head, haha. <laughs> anyway, keep up the good work and keep watching. Okay, there's two people asking that. Um, from the first one, I hope you're really enjoying Mission Red Planet. I think it's a great game. I'm done with that one. And yeah, Castle Ravenloft, Descent. What else is uh, RPG-ish? Well, uh, even Thunderstone Dragonspire is a little Kinda, RPG. It's yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. light on it, but it's... Yeah. If you're looking for um, Little Earth Quest? No. Not really. They're not as RPG. It's not a... Not a I really like Dungeon Twister, or as far as a dungeon, it's not really a dungeon crawl either, though. But mm -hmm. no, not it's, exactly. It's more like a race through the dungeon, try to get your. It's hard to say. There's we didn't not play that in a while. That many really great dungeon crawl games. Like when I think of dungeon crawls, I think of like video games, like mm -hmm. Bard's Tale, way back. Yeah. That sort of thing, but it, it's, I think it's hard to translate it to crawl? a board game. Yeah. And make it not too, um, too bogged down with stuff. Anyway, yeah. um, the theme song, for everyone who wants to know, was created in a program called Cinescore, uh, which has unfortunately now been discontinued, so I'll be the only one making that music, haha. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, you can control a lot of the different options of it, and it basically generates the music of whatever length you need, so I created that music, sort of. Well, I didn't write the moot piece itself. I did the, basically uh, the arrangement on it. That's how the uh, program works. Okay. So this is from our Cyclades review. This is uh, from Torch. Uh, he says, cool review. I'm so happy you guys reviewed this one. I was looking to buy it. I'm glad uh, glad to see I'm not the only one who uses snack size Ziplocs to store tokens and stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they I think that's more that. commonplace than you think. Yeah, I, mean, I, think, a I think a lot, lot of people, people use, use baggies. Them. Yeah. It's just easy. You store them in. You, Dip it up, and they don't fall out. Hopefully. Mind you, a lot of my games, you open up the box and loo baggies. You can use <laughs> tin foil if you like, but it's gonna wear out. Anyway, 
Okay, this is from Lord Crumb, and I think it's about Android. Android, yeah. I really like the concept of the game. Glad to hear it's more than just a clue clone. I was hoping I was going to hear you compare it to Blade Runner at one point, but it doesn't sound like it does, so I will eventually pick it up. Thanks for another review. Is there a Blade Runner board game? No, but Android, Which I think the, part of it was aiming for that kind of feel, with the whole yeah. cops cruising around the city the, and the hover cars and stuff. Thing, yeah. 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 There was a bit, there's a bit of that there, but it's... Not, it's not really not as enough. dark as Blade Runner no. is, that's for sure. All right, this then. is from Lord Crom again. Lord Crom definitely seems to be one of our bigger fans. Yeah. And we appreciate you, Lord Crom. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, no, it's over already. Have to wait another week. I'm not interested in Tolkien myself, but it sounds like the Middle Earth Quest. Yeah, but I like the sound of Middle Earth Quest. Adding this one to my wish list. Thanks again, guys. Uh, we have also decided to go the green route. Actually, I'm out of printer ink, but the green route is also <laughs> even better. Um, we're going to read them off the computer screen rather than printing them out and throwing them and just wasting paper because that's just silly. Can we throw your laptop? No, you cannot throw the laptop. Oh, yeah. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Spins up. <laughs> okay, this one, I believe, is from Wrath of a Shardalon, I'm guessing. Kemwi. M. Kemwi. Yeah. Uh, great review. Maybe I buy this game, but I want the Lord of the Rings, the card game first. Yeah, and it's also sounding to be a really good game. It's a cooperative card game. Yep. The evolution of the Ravenloft game should serve as an example to other companies to listen to the opinion of the gamers and guide the game in that way. Oh, I like this comment. I read this uh, after we posted our reviews, or, and uh, I came over to uh, uh, Tuesday. Uh, uh, and mentioned yeah. we got another Chris online here, and I forgot it was Sean's post here. This is one of my top games too. I like to spice things up and airlock someone just for the sake of it. Yeah, that was <laughs> funny. We were kind of sitting on He's the couch. The airlock oh, we got another. Here. We got another Chris on board game who likes to airlock people just for the heck of it. Sean goes, <laughs> that was me. And, and, then, and then we point to Sean. It's like, what? That was you? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember now. <laughs> that was a good comment. I like that, Sean. Thanks. Thanks, I think you guys talked about Defenders of the Realm somewhere in there. Uh, I'm right here, I'm right there with you uh, at being blind when it comes to reading the location names on the board. Oh, I thought you meant, you were gonna say emails there. <laughs> uh, laugh out loud, it's a nice game though, I really enjoy it. Sometimes it seems too easy, and then next thing you know, orcs everywhere. Kinda like, you know, monsters everywhere. Thank you very much. Buddy. Yeah, Defenders of the Realm by no means an easy game. No. It, but it's it enjoyable. Feels it's like it's it feels like it's easy. It feels like you're seems, really going yeah. good, and then all of a sudden, whoa, what happened? Where, 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 yeah. where, where the hell did all this stuff come from? What do you mean there's no more tainted crystals? Oh, we just Great. lost. <laughs> Orc baby boom. Uh oh. No. <clears throat> okay, this is from Daniel. Me and the wife are just getting into these different types of table games. Our first one we actually just purchased, Wrath of a Shardalon, based on it was D&D &D and what I saw from your review. We are very excited to find more of these type of games. We're wondering if you had any suggestions on more co-op games for two people with the possibility of more. We plan on getting Raveloft to integrate with our Wrath of a Shardalon. I love the show and look forward to seeing more of the games you guys show off. Um, co-op and two co people, yeah. Arkham Horror. Um, Arkham Horror, you can play, I used to say you could play it and play multiple investigators, but my friend Kate and I have played many games of Arkham Horror, just the two of us, and we're at about 50% win rate with that, with just two investigators. This is also, we know how to play the game, so we're, do, we're doing everything, in, you know. Yeah, odds are when you're playing with two investigators, you're just low number investigators, you're not gonna win by closing portals. No, you're basically no. gearing up for the final battle. Yeah, yeah right. Unless then, you happen to get a couple of And that's cards not cards. always easy, because yeah. you're always bumping into monsters uh, and stuff. Defenders of the Realm, was that, did it have option two, or were there bottom three on that? Like they're recommended lowest number of players. Oh, you could you could play defenders that are on one player. You could play it solo. Okay, so then that one would work two player. Yeah. Uh, you would have to be on top of the game because a lot of things are going on, but you could do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend Ghost Stories two player because it doesn't get any easier with less players. Can you play with two? Yeah, you can play it up you down can to play one it, if you, you want. You can play it one player if you want. Wow. Okay, still going. This one from Wayne. Hey guys, first I'd like to say great job on the show. It's very informative and helped me to buy Wrath of a Shardalon, and I'm thinking about Castle, Ravenloft, and Cave Troll. All good buys. All right, this one's from Middle Jeremy. Oh, we're doing Middle Earth. Yeah, you got 
That other, like, what are you, hey what boys, are you great about? review of a game I will have to pick up being a Tolkien fan. Where in Ontario are you? We're in Kitchener. Yep. Yep. And I, I think Jeremy said he was in Toronto, so again, you're about an hour, hour and a half, depending on when you drive and how you drive away. Uh, different but cool with only one of you instead of three. Thankfully, I wasn't as interested in this week's uh, game as I was in last week's review. I ended up spending around $400 after last week's review to get as much Heroescape as I could. Yeah, that's kind of repeat the last week. Yeah, this was for the um, Super Mastermind when everybody was yeah. sick and I dragged my ass into the studio to yeah, do something. Right. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought it was about. But yeah, it, yeah we've kind we've of, kind of learned on. we're doing... We're having a bunch of reviews, so yeah. when we do get sick or stuff happens, that we're not left with leaving you guys without Review. watching us on a Monday. Oh, yeah. I mean, what, what are you going to do when you don't watch us on a Monday? Great review, though. I, th I rate the game a tad higher than you guys have. Then again, I have not had any issues with components as they are all intact. Well, well mine are all breaking. They're a lot of the ships, anyway. The rest of the stuff seems fine. I love the theme and like gameplay. It makes for a quick, fun game uh, when you don't have hours to devote to something deeper. I also like how the mythological creatures were handled. Yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. I like how they work, too. Mm -hmm. Again, good review. You guys are a hoot. Keep them coming. Yeah, it's a lot deeper game than you think. The, the mythological oh, yeah. creatures definitely mm -hmm. add yeah, stuff Yeah, you really got to gotta get the creatures into the mix. That's a lot of fun. And that's it. We have answered all of your emails. Really? Finally, oh, yes. We just answered 38 emails there. Wow. Uh, also, so that was a we big. skipped some, didn't no, we? No, we didn't. We did them all, all 38. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, a big email show, and uh, thank you for writing. Keep on writing them in. We love getting all your emails. And yeah, thank you very comments. much for input. Positive and negative, whatever you want to say. If there's a problem you have with the show, or if you have a suggestion that you want it to make it better, sure, send it on in. We'd like to see your videos. Where's the widescreen correspondent videos of you getting your say in our show? Come on. Another thing I would like to point out right now, www.fbnmultimedia.com slash TGT slash is the official The Gamers Table website. Wow, just completely lost my train of thought in the last one there. It has all of our episodes separated choke, by season. Choke, choke. It has Information, very little information right now because these guys haven't given me their bios for their stuff about themselves. And oh, everybody yeah. asks about it, so having it on this show. Is that on there? Yeah, there's a section. I, about I just us. watched the last episode. I'm and all the, the latest episodes and the latest news is up there and all sorts of other links. So uh, do go there, check everything out. And you can also find us on YouTube in the FBN Dude user. And you can also find us on Board Game Geek. There is a geek list with all of our episodes collected in one place. And you're seeing us talking right now, so you're obviously watching the episode somewhere. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right. Take care. This is uh, Craig Stewart. <laughs> Ken Maziars. Chris Sauter. Saying goodbye. Bye-bye. And, and good gaming. Yes. May yes. the good Lord take a liking to you and blow you up real soon. <laughs>